My name is Steve Boyer. I live in the mountains east of Seattle and I've been a Republican for more than 25 years, active in a number of fronts. I opposed Trump from the start, most of all because he was simply a threat to democracy. It has been worse than I ever could have imagined. Let's take the pandemic, which is killing thousands, racism, which he deliberately inflames, and Russia, where he's either a collaborator or a coward. With the pandemic, 130,000 and climbing, and Trump still won't wear a mask and tells governors to open their states and their schools. My brother-in-law died of cancer in Michigan early this, earlier this year. Trump, he was fighting with the governor and telling the vice president not to call her with help. He didn't give a damn about my brother-in-law because he doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. Then there's the racism. He sounds like George Wallace back in my high school days in Alabama. Now we have unarmed African Americans killed on video, mostly by police. Instead of opposing police brutality, Trump encourages the far right militias who bring their assault weapons to their own protests. I'm an NRA life member, and I know this use of firearms when I see it. As for Russia, Whatever Trump's deal is, it's all about himself. He's always kowtowed to Putin. Now we have Russia paying bounties to the Taliban to kill American troops. Trump, he just says he didn't know. What he should say is he doesn't care. What he does do is talk about saving Confederate statues. He won't protect Americans from coronavirus, from racism, or from Russia. So really, it's fitting for him to line himself up with pro-slavery traitors like those Confederates. It's certainly fitting for us to get rid of him. Trump is simply not fit to be president.